I'm Jamie Glowacki and I am the author of Oh Crap Potty Training and today I would like to talk about a very common problem I call dribbling. Now dribbling is not a half accident, dribbling is not a full accident, dribbling is quite literally little dribbles usually about quarter size in the underpants. Dribbling most often happens a few weeks into potty training and it usually happens when you think, oh my kids got this, I don't have to keep such a focus. And the dribbling can actually start to seem like it's the cue for your child to go potty. One thing I want to remind you of is that dribbling, stopping and getting to the potty is actually showing much more control than just getting to the potty. So that's sort of a hook we hang our hat on, that, that it may feel like it's a slight step backwards, but it's actually progress in that your child's most likely playing around with how long they can hold their pee. Little's coming out, they're stopping it and getting to the potty. So it's actually not as bad as some parents fear. But what can you do about it? Well, one thing I like to remind parents is remind your child to tell you when they have the feeling to go pee, as opposed to tell me when you have to go pee, you can say tell me when you have the feeling to go pee. And that reminds your child that there's actually, there's a step before going pee. Another thing you can do is get old school training pants. So I call them old school because back in the day we didn't have pull-ups. So we had training pants. Now training pants had a thick layer in the crotch, about triple, uh, triple layer cloth in the crotch. Dribbling was widely recognized as part of the process of potty training. So that middle crotch there absorbs the pee. If it's not soaking through to your child's clothes, I wouldn't make a big deal about it. In all honesty, you may not even have to change their clothes. If you do have to change their clothes, again, don't make a big deal about it. If you do start making a really huge deal about it, it may really kind of um, mess up with the process. The whole process and your child may actually start to regress. So my advice is just get those training pants to absorb a li that little bit of pee and remind your child to tell you when they have the feeling to go pee. And that really, dribbling usually wraps itself up in a week or two. Again, if you start to really hound your child or start prompting them again or over prompting, you may be looking at a full regression right around the corner. So that's all I've got today on dribbling. Feel free to share this video if you found it helpful or like it. And you can always join us on Facebook at Oh Crap Potty Training and join the conversation there.